Hello, my name is Rich Loeffler and I'm the artist of this piece called the Buffalo Trail, which is a heroic size piece that will go in front of the National Museum of Wildlife Art in Jackson, Wyoming, around on their new sculpture trail that will encompass the grounds. And uh, right now we are sitting in the uh, foundry where this piece was produced. It's called Art Castings of Montana in Belgrade, Montana. And I'd like to take you around and show you the process of how it all came about. The molding process, as an example, to do this double cowl piece behind me was 120 panels divided by two because they have to split the panels. There's 240 panels or pieces of the puzzle that have to be put back together. And I think that's interesting for people to realize that this is a very monumental task on behalf of the foundry. The first process is called the molding process and it is one of the more critical processes because it starts everything from the wax to the finished bronze. If we get that right, then we're going to have a good casting of bronze at the end. This is a mold here, uh, which is rubber and plaster. The rubber goes over the clay sculpture first in layers and then the plaster is applied after which creates the hard shell so that the rubber has something to fit into. This is called the mother mold which begins everything. So this is the second stage of the casting process. This is the wax area where we pour the wax into the molds that you saw earlier and from those wax molds the wax will come out and get sprued to start the ceramic slurry process which will allow the wax to melt out and the bronze poured in, thus called the lost wax method.